got a little bit away from the music so now we can go and check out let me lower the mask a little bit just so i can breathe well this one's way 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 smaller than the the first one which makes sense right um yeah the first one's like five levels or four levels i think but uh yeah you can just can get an idea of like the type of cars that he's gonna be storing i don't know whose car this is um but i know they're extremely extremely expensive uh, they're very very rare um and i think the only reason i know is because doug demuro had his and you know he was talking about it how excited he was to have it and you know this thing i mean i don't i don't know what i'm staring at to be honest with you um i have a rough estimate on how much it costs which is a lot of money but if there was a Datsun 510 in front of it i'd probably go and geek out with the Datsun. <laughs> it's just different taste but great car it looks beautiful i mean it looks like it's in extreme well-maintained condition. This one as well. Very beautiful. Oh, speaking of this, oh yes. Alfa Romeo Giulia. Oh my goodness. Four-door. Yes, so good. Love the wheels. Oh man. Thanks to Petrolicious videos, I'm all in for these cars, man. All in. Absolutely love these cars. Beautiful doggo.
Mercedes 86 came through. Very, very nice. We should have various events. Um, I think it's designed for Global Time Attack. I personally haven't seen it on the track, but I'm sure it has. Um, yeah, RS Future, buddy Amir, with the sick wing and the arrow. So pretty cool to see it. Car was gutted completely. Got it completely, so. Now, let me see, man, let that gentleman take his picture. All right. Now, this C30 has my attention. The reason why it has a full cage, or half cage, but it looks stock. The tires say otherwise, it's Nankang tires. So I wonder what it's powered by. I don't recognize this car from any Instagram page or anything like that. So it's probably packing a punch or it will be packing a punch. I can't see anything for the front, but it's a really clean car. I really like that. A G body. Whoa. Wow, they did that to the rear. Crazy, that's cool. Upgrade on the steering wheel and it's manual. Ooh, okay. I love what they've done with this car. Very, very cool. Strat. Another 32. I like those jackets that they're wearing, the macho racing. So there's another wheel. That's him with the rotary. Very clean cars. Excuse me, fellas. Yeah, dude. Man, this thing is rad. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. RX-7 looking so, so mint. Everybody geeks out over these ones. Then sure is really good. As we're making our way back to the car, this one definitely stood out. We've seen this car a long, long time ago. The guy who built it sold it. Uh, it has to be the same car because there's no way there's another car that was built to this beautiful spec. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. But, uh, and this is what he did. He created a WRC car out of it. If I'm not mistaken, he utilized something from four door back there and made it mold perfectly it's so good that you don't even know that there was a lot of work done into this car but there was plenty of work he went with the nourish STI um, big brick kits I am forgetting the the drivetrain and the power I think he went with the newer WRX I don't remember but this car Oh, for sure. Trans heads. Beautiful, beautiful Subaru. Only in California. <laughs> GT3. GT3. Can't get into the venue because there's enough cars already. So they park off to the street. Love the color in this one, by the way. Yep. Oof. Oh, man. What is this? Oh, my gosh. It's gnarly. 
Very cool. I almost missed this badass truck. Oh my goodness, look at this. A Yoda with the fender flares, beefy tire setup. Oh man, I love this. Manual. Oh man, beautiful truck. That's awesome. I really, really like this truck. Man. One thing I would do different is just lower it more, but I know that sometimes you run into issues, so then you have to start getting into custom fab. C notch has to be very high, etc., 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 etc. Ooh, well, amazing event. I think it was definitely worth the 45 minute drive for me. Um, a lot of clean cars, a lot of clean cars. So thank you, Matt Ferrat, for op opening up your your new shop. <clears throat> Nothing but the best. Hope it continues to grow and you open up another shop or whatever you decide to do. So a lot, a lot of cool stuff. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Definitely appreciate the love and the support to everybody that said hi on the walkthrough. Um, yeah, not super excited about the roll, roll in um, footage, but it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. Anyways, catch you guys in the next one. Peace out everyone. Thank you for the love and support.